been living with scars since I was four years old, 27 years. The hat that my great aunt had bought me had blown off and landed near the dog who was sleeping on the sidewalk. And when I went to pick it up, the dog like woke up and just pounced on me and pretty much mauled me. I went up spending two weeks in the hospital from age four to I think 13 or 14. I had three or four plastic surgeries, like 400 stitches. I was 31 at the time of the fire. I'm Robert Feeney from Plymouth, Massachusetts. I was living in Fall River with my girlfriend at the time, and she had two young daughters. We we're in the process of planning our future. The night before the fire, we booked the reception hall and everything. Mark Kendall was one of my favorite guitarists. I guess having the opportunity to see him that up close I was like, I'm not going to pass it up. It was also a night that we had decided we were going to tell her friends that we were engaged. When the band took the stage, we saw the pyro right away. Me and Donna looked at each other and we're like, wow, it's not 1986. You know, you don't need pyro in a small venue like this. We're here for the music, not for the flashy show. Just seconds later, I was looking at the wall and I told her from the angle that we were at, we can see just to the right of the alcove that that wall was on fire. I expected it to go out by either sprinklers or a fire extinguisher. So we started headed towards the exit next to the stage and saw the band was jumping off and then uh, one of the bouncers grabbed Donna by the shoulders and held her back into me and told her that it was for the band only and that we had to wait to get out the front door. We probably walked about six steps when the flashover occurred and, and the flames just shot from the stage straight down the other end of the building. The last thing that I said to her was I'm gonna count to three and I'm gonna get you through the crowd. And I got to two and from this we got hit from the right side and it was a body that was burning from head to toe. And fell on top of me. She fell forward. And I just, I, mean, I don't know who it was. I just knew this person was keeping us from getting out. And I just did everything I could to to push the body off of me. And so I just crawled to her and started pulling on her sneakers, trying to get her to move. And she, she wasn't moving, she wasn't responding. I, I couldn't pray to die fast enough. It was as silent as can be. There's no more screamings, no fire alarms. It was this crackling of wood crawled to where I thought the nearest wall was and just I found that and just ran my hand up as high as I could reach and just followed it and followed it until I found an opening and I just leaped up and dove through it. Kathy made it out. Right. Donna Mary Pam did it. through several phases, I guess, of anger. I went myself a lot. 
know I bought the tickets, I insisted on going. I could say I probably went a good nine months where I didn't have a sober day. I went to a father-daughter dance with Donna's younger daughter. I think seeing the picture of us and seeing how I looked, I think I didn't recognize myself. So that was from the drinking. And the look on her face of having me there, it, it pretty much sunk in that there's still a lot more that I have to be around for. The worst thing to come out of the fire is the life loss, you know, losing my fiance, two of her friends, and 97 other people. That I'll take any physical injury to replace that. Another day goes by that Yeah. And pretty much multiple times a day, the thought goes through my head, just various reasons. Think about her, think about her kids. 